I have to empty this thing now because it's starting to freeze at night. And if I keep the water in here, it's going to split the barrel open. So this is where I've been storing the water from the roof. I do plan on putting a gutter on there still, but for this year I was just putting the buckets under every time it rained at the drip line and then pouring them into here. Which has worked out great. We got enough rain this year that I haven't been down to the stream to collect water in, I don't know, two months, at least three months maybe. So that is one of the questions. So that's one of the questions I've been getting a lot on my videos lately. So I just stopped for lunch. I've finished burning the base logs for the log cabin sauna. You have to check out a couple of these other videos or watch the log cabin um, episode. Or so watch the log cabin season three if you want to watch that whole process. I'm just starting. Uh, they got the base logs in, but. Um, I think I'm done for the day working at least. So stop for lunch and just wanted to answer a couple questions that I saw on Facebook and on the last YouTube video. So one of those questions is what is this barrel for on there? And of course the comments saying that I hope it's whiskey or wine and stuff like that. So this one actually, what? This was a wine barrel and the two in the kitchen are whiskey barrels. I'm using those for collecting water. This one I'll put down spouts in an eaves trough, put down spouts into that barrel next spring once it warms up again. Uh, one of those, the one up on the countertop there, I'll drain from that roof. I might just use that one for a tabletop or storage, cut it open and make a cupboard out of it. And then I have one more that I can use for the bathhouse. Take all that water. I'm gonna move. I don't know if you can hear me with that noise in the back now. if that's any better it's still emptying behind you there um, another question of course is why did I and I get get this mostly on the video from last year the time-lapse and the the uh, video where I do the entire building it's the one hour video uh, a lot of questions still about why I charred the roof what it is is that um, when you char wood like that it actually makes it insect resistant water resistant and apparently more fire resistant, which of course I think is under dispute a little bit. I think it's probably true. It's harder to catch, but once it catches fire, it would burn hotter. But the um, main reason is that it's water and insect resistant, and therefore rot resistant. Which is why when you see a, a fire, a forest has been burned, you see the, the charred stumps. They could be there for 
decades. Another question is about power, whether I'm going to install a, a wind turbine, and I think that's a good idea. This um, uh, goal zero, I'm actually, it's only down to like 65% or something right now, and I don't think I've had it down below 30%, so essentially what that means is the amount of power that I'm drawing from it to charge my devices, laptop, computer, uh, cell phone, uh, and run lights, uh, camera batteries, the main th thing maybe are the lights. Um, I'm not drawing it down much, so right now, and I'm not using that fridge because it's cool enough. Whenever it's it's uh, at the proper temperature, I'll leave stuff outside. So that's that'll change seasonally, and now that I'm cooking or have an all-day fire going, it'll warm up too much in the cabin to leave anything really out. Uh, the floor box is working great, mind you, for um, keeping things cold. So again, that fridge is sort of, um, you know, on hot, hot days in the summer, I can plug it in and or leave stuff in there possibly when I go away from the cabin to stop it from freezing just because it's uh, super insulated but uh, I don't have to plug it in that often is my point so we'll see but anyway I think I'll probably end up having some kind of other power requirements here or I'm going to end up with long periods in the winter that I can't charge that battery with solar at all so I think a, a small wind turbine is a very good um, solution possibly it's an option at least not pleasant to look at and the noise can be aggravating but if I can put it down in the little valley here which is only 50 yards 150 feet something like that probably into a spot where wind can come funneling down there I might be able to run it there and run a cable up to the cabin so that's an option I'll consider that um, other than that there's lots of questions you have I'll try to keep answering them in the comments, I usually try to do that, and if not, then in a future video. But I have a question for you guys. I'm really happy with the number of views I'm getting on the videos. And as you know, I do put a lot of effort into making the videos. It's, um, I love it. That's why I keep doing it at, uh, and spending as much time on them as I am. Uh, but of course, it does slow me down here, but this is my life, right? So I don't really mind that. Um, but I do like to get feedback. and. I love your comments, I read them all the time, and I appreciate when you, you like the, hit the like button. One thing I'm confused about, and I'm not sure, I'm just, I'm very analytical, and I'm kind of results driven, so I do like to, to analyze what's going on with the YouTube channel, like anything in my life. And the one thing that I'm baffled by, I'm very curious about, is um, why people don't subscribe. I, I'm, sounds like get ego or something like that, so I hesitate to just to say it. But it, I do pay attention to those things. So anyway, the, the views are quite high, and I'm really happy about that. Um, what I'm confused about is why the subs, my uh, subscribe, my subscriber number doesn't go up very quickly. And I know that a large number of people are watching my videos that aren't subscribed. And I'm not begging you to subscribe, I'm just curious and I'm trying to understand why that is. I'm not sure if it's something I'm doing wrong in my videos or, or I'm uploading too often and showing you too much of what's going on here, maybe not enough of what's going on here. Um, and it's, but the majority are still not watching. So my question for you, bottom line, is if you're not subscribed and you have watched at least one of my videos in the past and, and plan on watching any future videos, I'm just wondering what it is that stops you from subscribing so why don't you subscribe or why don't people subscribe in general if you know the answer to that when i like a channel if i find something interesting and i want to either tune in regularly uh, then i'll hit the notification bell at the top as well or i want to be reminded that this is a channel i find interesting i want to come back and, and uh, watch future videos or come back to that channel and watch past videos so i'll subscribe and um I'm assuming that's what most people do. But if you don't, I'm just wondering what it is. If there's a reason that you don't subscribe generally or to this channel in particular. So that's the only question I had for you guys. I'd appreciate if you could give me an answer and uh, let me know. Just give me your feedback otherwise. If you are a subscriber, thank you for that. If you're a viewer, thank you for that. You don't have to be subscribed to, to uh, be appreciated. But, um, you know, if you have any other questions, please, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. No try to get back to as many of you as possible.
I'm going to uh, wrap this video up right now though. I'm kind of exhausted from burning those and dehydrated from standing by the fire all day burning those base logs. So I think Kelly and I will go for a walk and uh, enjoy a somewhat decent day here. It's calm and it's not too bad, maybe 2 degrees Celsius and a nice fall, fall day walking the crunchy leaves. So thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it and I'll see you up at the cabin tomorrow or soon. Take care.